A Pakistani journalist who interviewed Osama bin Laden says the terrorist leader claims to have his own nuclear and chemical capabilities. Military experts have been speculating on where bin Laden or others might gain access to atomic weapons, and much of the speculation focused on so-called suit case nukes. George Knapp spoke with some locals who have some hands-on experience with those kind of weapons. He's here with the story. George. Uh, Gary and Paul, a suitcase nuke is one nickname for the devices. There is also the eerie acronym SODOMS, Small Atomic Demolition Munitions. The official position of our military is that it's possible but unlikely that bin Laden has acquired suitcase bombs. Privately, there is concern that crude atomic devices in the hands of terrorists could be used against us. Southern Nevada is home to some of the world's foremost experts on nuclear weapons, even a few who've had their hands on atomic bombs small enough to hide in a backpack. He said that if United States of America is going to use nuclear and chemical weapons against us, then we reserve the right to respond back but we will not use uh, these kind of weapon first. We will retaliate. And he used again and again the word nuclear deterrent. Put the words nuclear and bin Laden in the same sentence and you will get people's attention. This Pakistani journalist says he interviewed terrorist mastermind Osama bin Laden over the weekend and was led to believe that bin Laden has already purchased nuclear weapons, devices possibly stolen from the former Soviet Union. Concerns about the security of the Soviet stockpile heightened in 1997 when Russian military officials admitted the existence of so-called suitcase nukes, small kiloton devices capable of taking out large chunks of a major city, say New York or even Las Vegas. Senior Russian officials claim that more than 100 small atomic devices were made and that perhaps dozens are unaccounted for. The fear is that a few may have ended up on the black market. It is well known that Mr. Bin Laden and others, at least as I read, have, have tried for some time to buy nuclear weapons. And, uh, and uh, uh, you know, I, I suppose that that's theoretically achievable. As a scientist for Livermore Labs, Troy Wade helped to assemble the atomic devices that were uncorked at the Nevada test site in decades past. He is also a co-founder of NEST, the nuclear emergency search team, which would be dispatched in the event of a threatened nuclear event. Wade admits even with the scientific expertise and tons of sophisticated equipment at its disposal, NEST would have to get very lucky to catch someone smuggling a small atomic bomb into a major city. Is it possible that a Russian device is in the hands of bad guys? I do, however, remember, remember a, a, a very senior Clinton administration official saying that uh, with high confidence they could uh, account for 99% of the Soviet weapons. With my background, uh, that is not a very comfortable answer. Wade confirms the U.S. built its own version of the suitcase nuke, a device known as a Sodom. Teams of commandos were trained to strap the bombs onto their backs and jump out of airplanes. This crew right here, we could carry a Satan with us and put it anywhere in America. And unless people were checking us with gag counters, they would never know that it doesn't look like any kind of conventional weapon. doesn't look like a bomb. Former Green Beret Commander James Bo Greitz was a team leader in the Sodom program. He trained with the devices, learned to assemble them, and says he was told the Russians may have slipped a few into America, where they remain squirreled away. All Osama bin Laden would have to do is to purchase the cash site in America. All of the Satans are dirty bombs. They throw up in debris and fallout stuff that will kill you far down range because it is so hot. A 10 kT Satan detonated, for example, uh, in Las Vegas would take out Nellis Air Force Base and all the way down the strip. We've not had any indication from defectors, from scientists, official meetings saying, by the way, we've got some devices that we need to go uh, pick up or you need to be concerned about. Retired Army Intelligence Colonel John Alexander strongly downplays fears of buried nukes in the U.S. In addition to technical problems with such a scenario, he thinks we would have found out by now. That since the end of the Cold War, we've traded a lot of secrets. We've had several changes of government, and actually it would be a great bargaining tool uh, to say, see how honest we're being. 
The experts may quibble about the degree of probability, but not on the overall possibility that bin Laden may have acquired nuclear weapons. Troy Wade finds it far more likely that bin Laden's group may have obtained not an atomic bomb, but nuclear material that could be wrapped around conventional explosives, then used to scatter radioactive fallout in a target city. It's much easier to obtain nuclear material than it is to bag a nuclear bomb. I guess I'd like to think if someone walked into a city with a suitcase nuke, that we'd have ways of detecting that, do we? Well, yeah, but according to Troy Wade, we'd have to get awfully lucky. We would need some solid oh. intelligence information to narrow down the search area, or else we would never find it, uh, certainly not in time to prevent a detonation. In other words, even Nest, with its capabilities, is unable to simply fly over a city and zero in on all the nuclear materials there. So, uh, but, but they say that the chances are small, but of course the, right. uh, the, the fallout would be literally bad news. Horrifying. Thank you, George.